Welcome to Food Fights, and today we're going to be comparing these two brands of ravioli. On the left, weighing in at 15 ounces, is Chef Bardee beef ravioli in tomato and meat sauce. On the right, also weighing in at 15 ounces, is Walmart's great value brand of beef ravioli in tomato and meat sauce. So I'm looking forward to trying these because I haven't had ravioli in quite a long time. I used to buy this pretty regularly. When I was a kid, I used to have this a lot and I really enjoyed it. But since I've grown up, I just don't eat it anymore. And it seems like the last time I tried this, they had changed the recipe and it's just not how I remember it. Maybe the great value tastes as good or better than the Chef Boyardee. And maybe it tastes like how the ravioli used to taste when I was a kid. So the packaging, of course, the Chef Boyardee definitely looks good. I mean, it's, it's Chef Boyardee, my gosh. What could be better than that? Then, of course, a great value. I mean, it, it just, it looks generic. That's fine. But the most important thing is how these things are going to taste. So let's open this up. And that looks like Chef Boyardee ravioli. Kind of thin in there, and I'm smelling it. And it smells good right now, just, just from opening the can. All right, let's try the Great Value brand now. Let's open this up and see how that looks. Ooh, wow, that actually looks better. Right off the bat, that looks better. It's definitely thicker. When I compare the two, there's the Chef Boyardee and there's the Walmart. And the Walmart is definitely thicker. That's interesting. All right, let's see how these things smell. Let's smell the Chef Boyardee and see how that is. It smells pretty good. It smells spicy. It has a savory smell to it. I mean, my mouth is watering just smelling that. Yeah, that smells good. Not really getting a lot of a tomato smell, just getting a spicy smell. It smells like uh, the ravioli I remember. All right, let's smell the Walmart brand. It smells very similar. Very, very similar. They both have a savory smell to them. So I'm looking forward to trying these and see how these taste. So let's heat these up and let's give them a taste test and see how they are. So here we are, we got these heated up and we're gonna try these. But first let's look at these. Obviously on the left is the Chef Bardee and on the right is the Walmart Great Value brand. And the Chef Bardee sauce is definitely quite a bit thinner than what the Great Value brand is. There is some meat in the sauce, but we kind of had to dig these out of the sauce. And the sauce has, the sauce has more of a, an orangish color to it than what the, the Great Value brand is. You can see the Great Value brand, the sauce is definitely thicker and definitely has more meat that kind of uh, flows through the sauce. And the sauce has more of a, a deeper red color. Let's cut in half a Chef Boyardee ravioli and see how that looks. And it looks like ravioli. It looks like what I expect. You can see the, the meat in there or the, the meat substance. All right, so let's try the Chef Boyardee and let's see how this tastes. Hmm. Well, initially it tastes pretty good, it has a tangy taste to it, but it really drops off. And there's not a lot of flavor to that at all. And the texture, is a bit on the gelatinous side. There's nothing firm about this at all. Let's try this again. Try to get some more sauce in there. Let's try this one more time. And it's not gross, but it's not at all how I remember it when I was a kid. It's very weak when it comes to flavor. Very, very weak. Not a lot of tomato flavor and not a lot of beef flavor in that. It tastes very budget. It tastes like budget uh, ravioli. It tastes like what a generic would be. This is not Chef Boyardee ravioli. It's not the way it used to be. Let's try the Walmart Great Value brand and let's see how that tastes. And right away, it definitely looks better on the plate. So let's cut one of these in half and see how that looks. Definitely firmer just from cutting it. It definitely seems firmer. Let's move this sort of focus. And it definitely looks like there's more meat inside of that ravioli than there is on this Chef Boyardee. So let's try this and see how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. Definitely a different flavor, but it has flavor. I'm still not getting a real strong tomato taste, but I'm definitely getting a lot of spices. There's a lot of spices in that meat. It's certainly not the Chef Boyardee ravioli of yesterday. I was hoping it'd be very similar to the old recipe of uh, Chef Boyardee ravioli, but it's not. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. 
It's definitely different than this Chef Bardi. I'm going to try it again and just see if there's anything else. Mm. Definitely has more of a tomato taste. And it, like I say, it definitely has taste to it. Uh, to that end, I'm going to I'm gonna have some more just because it's that good. So I'm going to try some more. Mm. That is quite good. So comparing the two, there really is no comparison. I'm going to try just one more time. I'm going to try the Chef Boyardee. Oh my gosh. Very, very, very bland. At the very first taste, you get a, a hint of some tanginess, a little bit of, there's definitely some sweetness right at the beginning, but it fades off really fast. And you get this just gelatinous, bland uh, taste and texture. It's this, like I say, this is not the ravioli of yesterday. So let's try the Walmart brand one more time. Mmm. This is actually good. And this is just kind of there. Yeah, if, oh my gosh. Right now, oh my gosh. Definitely the Walmart brand is so, so much better. I'm serious. So, so much better than the Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee has really dropped the ball on this. And uh, I guess if they're dropping the ball, somebody else is going to pick it up. So as of right now, Walmart is the best canned ravioli I've had in a long time. I'm really surprised and I'm really disappointed. Walmart definitely tastes much better than the Chef Boyardee. All right, I suppose let's see which one of these is the better value. I think I, I think we know where this is going. The Chef Boyardee ravioli, I paid 88 cents for this 15 ounce can. And the Walmart brand of ravioli, which is also 15 ounces, I paid 66 cents for the same amount. Which one's the better value? You guys know which is the better value. For a better taste and a much cheaper price, oh my gosh, Walmart ravioli is the way to go. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy this again unless I find out that they've changed the recipe somehow because this is not Chef Boyardee ravioli. This is not the way it used to be. This is actually very, very good. And I will be buying this again. I can guarantee it. Thanks a lot for watching Food Fights. And please subscribe so we can continue to try it before you buy it. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.